What's going on everybody? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash and Delmarva Christmas Light, Solver, Maryland. Um, so we're going to do this. This is our 2019 uh, year in review. Um, as you grow your business, um, obviously it's always good to look back and, and get, you know, see how did we do. Um, you also want to be doing that, you know, every week, every month, you know, kind of analyzing it as you go. Uh, but when you get to the end, you really do have that full picture. Here's Here's what we spent overall, here's what we made, here's what sucked, here's what was awesome, here's what we want to do again next year, here's what we never want to do again. Um, I don't know, we're a little bit into 2020 already, uh, but here we go. Um, so overall, guys, we hit that half million dollar mark, woo! Um, it costs a lot to get there. Um, you know, I was talking to somebody this summer and they're like, you know, hey man, as, you, as your business grows, what do you do with all that profit? Like, do you have to just like find extra stuff to buy? Now, finding extra stuff to buy is really easy. Um, I spent way more money on soaps and chemicals. I have so much literally sitting in our shop right now um, that unless we do a million dollars this year in power washing, I don't think I'm gonna have to buy much chemicals. Uh, certainly not any surfactants, degreasers, uh, other than we, we did buy some hot stain today. Um, but we got, we got a lot of soap. Um, we bought big pieces of equipment that we didn't need, um, or that weren't the right fit. Um, we had a lot of equipment breakdown. We had a lot of vehicle issues galore this year. New transmission in one, a replaced, a under warranty transmission in another one. Um, because as you get busier, um, this is why I have multiple rigs. That cost of the repair, it may be 500, maybe a thousand, maybe 5,000, whatever it may be. The time that that vehicle is off the road in general, if you're pricing right and doing a decent volume, is going to be greater than the cost of that repair. Um, so, you know, if you can schedule your repair during a hurricane, that's that's ideal. Um, it, it's also, you know, I learned some lessons on hiring and firing. We had a much, much better overall staff this year than we did last year. Um, I had multiple people that I had to get to the point of firing. Um, I hate firing. I, I I think I'm a pretty nice guy, um, but I had to fire several people, um, and I should have fired them much, much sooner. I told all the guys that are still around, I was like, I need your help. When there's somebody we need off our, off our bus or off our ship, we need to say, hey, look, that's where you're going to go. If you don't shape up, that's where you're going to go. Bye, Felicia. Get out of here. Um, that cost us, cost me several thousand dollars in just wasted time uh, and money on callbacks. Uh, and callbacks, you know, certainly have that silver lining, that way to, to turn it around and make it something positive. Uh, but what happens over and over and over and over again, um, it shows somebody's inability to improve themselves, to make the changes that they say they're going to. Um, and I should have, again, fired people a lot quicker. Um, quite frankly, getting to the point where I have to suspend somebody for multiple days um, it should have just been a flat-out termination. And had I known one more callback that happened that same day, it probably would have been a termination. Um, Christmas lights, woohoo! Big growth. Uh, finished a little over eighty grand in Christmas lights this year um, versus the twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four and change that we did last year. Um, made a mistake and ordered too much inventory near the end. This whole uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas being one week shorter for that interval um, is not fun. I, I think collectively every Christmas I had saw her would say, I would love, love, love to not have to do 2020's uh, shortened season. Some guys, I know guys still made tons and tons of money. We did great with it, but I ended up being left with a whole lot of unused lights that it paid for and certainly will install them this year in 2020. Um, but I want to say we have somewhere between eight to $12,000 in lights that didn't get installed. 
Um, we had a couple late season cancellations that kind of screwed stuff up there. Um, so, you know, another learning lesson. You know, I always like to be prepared and ready, but I do need to um, both have a better inventory management uh, to know where we really were. If I'd realized that and kind of seen it, we could have looked and said, no, actually, we are kind of good on, on supplies right now. I also, you know, didn't want to run out of some of the supplies. I actually cleaned my vendor out um, of all their C9s when they got low, uh, or all the warm white ones. Um some awesome stuff that happened. We did two five-figure jobs, both lighting jobs this year. Um, we grew the company substantially. Again, having additional vehicles, we now have the enclosed trailer for our Christmas sites. We got a new F-250 that will be able to be used in service for both power washing and the Christmas sites. We did some pretty cool trade outs. We did, again, that job for Hallmark, which hopefully you've seen that video. Um, we weren't able to use that for marketing purposes in 2019. Uh, in an effective way. It basically was the day after, or that Saturday after Thanksgiving that we were finally able to post pictures and videos from when we did that. Um, so we will be certainly maximizing that in a big way. Um, from a marketing perspective, uh, we found some gold nuggets. Uh, we did some, a little bit of TV stuff this year with uh, the Marvel Life. That was fantastic. We got lots of leads. Um, definitely made our money back on that. Um, not necessarily a super cheap per lead situation, uh, but also the massive amount of people that saw it, responded to it. Um, we will continue to use that over and over and over again. Uh, it hit the right demo. Uh, we only paid 550 bucks for it. Um, we did a interactive tea at a golf tournament. Uh, and we also had tea flags. So do not do the tea flags. They are a waste of money. Do the interactive tea. It ended up being that it was like 300 for each of all three things, um, or like 350 for each tee, and it was like 300 bucks to have an interactive booth. I, I really don't understand the the difference there for the sponsorships. And obviously, depending on your area, it may be a thousand, two thousand bucks for that. Um, but for a chamber of commerce golf tournament, so we've literally got you know twosomes and foursomes and whatnot going through this tournament um, with time in that tee box. You know, the, when they're putting to go in, you don't really get that time to really interact with them. Um, we leveraged that nonstop, and it has been fantastic, the results that we've seen, that the contacts that we made there, and the impression. I was running around in a T-Rex costume. I even ate a guy's leg um, <laughs> and stole a golf cart in it. That was awesome. It will literally be something we will do every year, um, and we'll get better and better at it. You know, we had beer and cheese and wine and all that stuff. And we had wine from one of our clients from the vineyard that we did a lot of lighting for. Um, a lot of awesome stuff. We did another TV thing with another company. It was a little later in the season. Um, quite frankly, the ad that was being put out with it um, was just so bad. Um, it was late in the season. It ended up going pretty much to the wrong audience. It was a texting campaign where the text, if you set the text to whatever number, it then went back to the, the text management company who then sent it to the sales rep for me, who then, or he had to like pull the data twice a day and then send it to me. And we all understand like with a text message, it needs to be instantaneous. It was not instantaneous. It quite frankly was just not good. They tried to make it right, put us on some other stuff. We got some good responses from that. And people saying, hey, I saw you on TV, blah, blah, and, um, Pretty much everybody that we saw, or the vast majority that responded that way, um, were not exactly the ideal or, quite frankly, the people that would pay what it costs to have professional lights installed on houses. Um, we got a big fat zero, zero dollars off of spending a little over, I think it was like 1100 or 1050 for that. Um, Facebook, ta-da, Facebook, we spent just over $5,000 and between all of our different social medias, Facebook's, you know, 98% of all of that income. Uh, we produced just over $190,000 in revenue off of Facebook this year, off the 5,000. So you know what I'm going to do in 2020, uh, is my goal is to spend at least 10,000. We're really going to try and push it to see if we can get to 15,000 which is really easy to just 
spend more, but it's hard for me to like, all right, now I'm gonna dump $100 on this post where I was spending 20 to 40 bucks. Running these posts for longer, continuing to engage with people. Um, you know, we, we also figured out, you know, I, I bought on, brought on some key people. Uh, I've got a office manager that's just a rock star. She loves working here. It's such a blessing because I, I dreaded and put it off for so long because I didn't want to get somebody who was meh, you know, have them in here and then get them through several weeks or, or a month or so and then be like, just not cutting it. Um, this chick's awesome. She's a rock star. I got my... Um, my foreman, he's a rock star. Love having him around. He has changed my stress level and so many things outside getting done. And his ability to also hold the guys accountable, telling the guys to you know step their game up. Um, and it's just been an absolute blessing to have him. I've got a sales rep on right now, dedicated for that. Um, I'll still be doing a good bit of sales coming to 2020. <clears throat> it has also shown us that we need to be able to see some of that data better, which is one of the reasons we were looking into um, other CRMs and stuff. Um, we checked out one coaching program called Breakthrough Academy. That was a chunk of money. I paid three grand for basically five meetings, and then it was going to be all this, basically like another 800 bucks a month for. Um, it was a year contract, but basically a three-year term is what they were expecting on it. Didn't really click. Ended up being kind of a waste of money. And it was that was money that I spent like February or January, which isn't exactly a great time to drop through grand. Um, joined Conquer in May. Uh, it's been fantastic. Um, the coaching stuff is fantastic with it. The, the group meetings, the accountability, um, the access to additional resource. Um, just went to the Conquer Summit, which you'll see some other videos about that. That was amazing. Um, and guys, I, all of you that are watching this are at different stages of your business. Um, and it's not a hard rule that you have to be above, you know, 250 uh, in revenue to be in Conquer. Um, but in general, most of the people in there are above that. And several are way, way above that. Um, so the kind of conversations that we're having, it's not about how to run your business. It's how to take your business to that next level. How to get beyond what you're able to do, how to see like, okay, you know, as my coach said, Rob, you, you literally willed yourself to these other levels and that's why I got burned out so badly in 2019. Um, it just, I, I couldn't manage all of it. I literally got to the point where we'd done over $400,000 in revenue in a year and I didn't have an office manager and I, I fully regret that. If I had been able to get Sarah here, um, you know, a year ago, it would have completely changed so much of my stress level and what we were able to get done. Um, we had, you know, we got our new website done. Um, unfortunately, that took a lot longer than what we wanted it to take. We'd also tried to get somebody else to do a Christmas lights website. That was a train wreck. Um, you know, lot, lots of learning. And, and that's the point, like, is uh, any big, big successful people, they say, you know, Everything's not perfect. They still make mistakes. You know, their mistakes now just have multiple zeros behind it. Um, so, anyways, 2019 was was overall. I have to look at it and realize, you know, we exceeded that half million dollar goal. Um, 2020 is going to be about really focusing on profitability, um, knocking out a bunch of debt right now that's going on in the business, um, making our fleet of wash vehicles much newer um, you'll get to see how we do that um, we're doing some off-season repairs to get these vehicles and kind of get into a you know when we get to this point we are no longer sinking money into this vehicle um, and even with the box truck this summer I should have made that call um, if I had known it was going to take three weeks to put the transmission in it because uh, ultimately, if it's got a brand new transmission, but it's a two hundred thousand dollar or two hundred thousand mile motor, it's still a, it's still an older vehicle. Um, so, guys, uh, I hope also, f and I haven't been good about this on here, but if you're getting value out of the channel, hit that subscribe button, like and share it. Uh, Want to continue to grow this? I, I should have passed ten thousand subscribers back in June, uh, and 
you know, here we are in 2020 and, and we're getting closer. Um, and I know that's basically my fault. I haven't asked y'all to subscribe and I haven't, you know, been giving enough reason to watch all these videos. So have a great evening and uh, wash on, go make money. See ya.